this is a quarter, this is a dime, this is a nickel, and this, of course, is a pen. Don't you say it. What? Penny? This is America. It's called cent, not penny. What are you talking about? Everybody calls them pennies. Well, then everybody's wrong. If we want to be 100% accurate, we need to call these coins cents, not pennies. That's what's written on the back of them anyway. But wait a second, isn't the word pennies written across every bank box that carries these coins in big, bold letters? And when you open the box, doesn't every single roll in the box have pennies written across the top and the bottom? What are you, some kind of red coat? They're called cents, not pennies. Hello everybody, my name is Quinn and this is Quinn's Coins. In this video, we're going to be addressing the age old debate. What do we call this coin, the penny or the cent? Numismatists and coin collectors have been fighting over what we should call this coin for years. So I figured I would try my hand at putting an end to this silly little debate once and for all. So let's start with a little bit of background. Believe it or not, there are people who actually get extremely offended when you use the word penny instead of cent. Now technically, and I mean Technically, in the most meticulous sense of the word, this coin is known as a one cent coin. This is basically the same thing as saying that my dog Panzer, who everybody knows as Panzer, is technically known as a Canis Lupus Familiaris. Spoiler alert, we still call him Panzer. Likewise, the vast majority of us here in the US call this a penny. Now I'm well aware that the average viewer probably doesn't think about these little coins very often. You're probably watching this thinking pennies? Who cares about pennies? Weren't we supposed to get rid of those things like five years ago or something? In all fairness, yeah, you're right. Pennies are pretty much worthless these days. The only thing a penny can actually buy you anymore is either a cheap wish at the wishing well or a ride on Sandy, that little riding horse you see outside of every mire. What's that? Mire's just a Michigan thing. Ah, whatever, they'll get it. The point is, not too many people are thinking about pennies. Despite this, there exists a small group of dedicated coin collectors who think about the penny a lot. They believe that these coins should be referred to only as cents, and they will get extremely offended if you do anything otherwise. Take these comments on some of my past videos, for example. They're not pennies, they are cents. America never ever minted pennies. That was England. The United States does not have a coin called the penny. We have cents. Check the back of one sometime. And finally, Cent, not penny. My argument is that we should call this coin a penny, not a cent. And I think that this comment from one of my viewers summarizes the main point of this argument very nicely. The coin is called a penny, the denomination is a cent. Denomination being the value of the coin. This actually makes a lot of sense, no pun intended. Quarters are worth 25 cents. Dimes are worth 10 cents. Nickels are worth five cents. And if we follow the pattern, Pennies are worth one cent, not cents are worth one cent. To really drive this home, I want you to take a look at a roll of pennies. Across the roll, on both ends, it reads 50 cents pennies. In other words, this roll contains coin type pennies, value 50 cents. So now that I've laid out the foundation for why I think that these coins should be called pennies instead of cents, let's take a look at some of the arguments for why these people think that they should be called cents instead of pennies. Argument number one, cent is written on the back of the coin, therefore it should be called a cent. Okay, sure, the word cent is written on the coin, I will give you that. But you wanna know where else you can find the word cent? On the nickel. It says five cents across the bottom, but I don't see you calling those five cent coins. Like, what does this look like when you go to the bank to get some nickels? Do you go up to the teller and say, uh, yes, hi, I'd like to get, uh, ten rolls of those five cent coins, please? Uh, you mean nickels? Do you see how strange that logic is? The fact that the word cent is written on the coin doesn't mean anything. There's lots of words on the coin. You have the words, in God we trust. The word liberty. We don't go around calling them liberties just because it says liberty on the coin, right? The second argument that these people make is they say that penny is a British coin while cent is an American coin. America used to be a British colony. Okay, before we had our own coins, we were using theirs. Once we started minting our own pennies or cents or whatever you want to call them, we started writing one cent on the coin, but it's likely that people just kept referring to them as pennies because that's what they were used to. Now, personally, I don't really see a problem with this, and it's not really like you can have an opinion on it anyway. At this point, it's so deeply ingrained in our culture as Americans to call these things pennies that I don't really see it ever stopping. The final argument that these people will often make is that the word penny is just too informal and unprofessional. If it was so informal, then why does the Wikipedia page for this coin have the title penny, 
parentheses, United States coin. Why is it used by so many banks across the country to indicate what these coins are? Why is it that when you go to the bank to get these coins, you ask for rolls of pennies instead of rolls of cents? Because just like with the nickels, if you ask for rolls of cents, the bank tellers aren't gonna know what you're talking about. If being formal and professional means that nobody can understand what you're saying, then what's the point of being formal and professional? Guys, at the end of the day, it's all just language. Language is super fluid, so what the majority of people think something means is effectively what it means. If you refuse to call this coin anything other than a one cent coin for the rest of your life, that's fine. You have a 100% chance of being technically correct. You also have a 0% chance of being fun at parties, but that's just my two cents. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's commentary video and you want to see more like it, click or tap over here. Or if you want to see a video that YouTube thinks you're going to like, click or tap down here. Click or tap directly below me to visit my website and click or tap my face if you need more time to decide. As always, I'm Quinn and this is Quinn's Coin signing out and I will see you in the next one.